Hello beautiful souls, this is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we're here looking at the energy surrounding you for June, mid-June of 2017. We're going to start off with the collective energy and then go into the individual signs. If you're not interested in uh, the collective, then I have provided a timestamp below that will take you directly to the individual sign. First, thank you to everyone who likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to those who are new, welcome. And I hope to see you again. Uh, also, make sure you're listening to more than just your sun sign. Listen to your rising sign, your moon, your Venus, your Mars. And if you're not sure what those are, I have provided a link in the description box, which creates your natal chart for free. All right, so let's do the collective poll. Now, right now we're in the time of Gemini, and we're about to go into the time of Cancer. So happy birthday, Geminis. Happy birthday, Cancers. Jupiter is going direct, so things are going to start to blossom and expand. Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy, calling in the divine. What messages do you have? Or actually, not messages... What is the one message that will resonate with everyone who watches this? That will be hit by it in some way. That will envelop these feelings. See these feelings. Give these feelings. What ties us together? Law of Attraction. Ooh. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware to energies. Okay. Let me read it one more time. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware to energies. And this is perfect as we come into the time of cancer. Cancer is a time of home, relationship, love, comfort right? Uh, cancer is ruled by the moon, and that is emotion. So things are shifting. You you know, I've heard a lot of people talking about portals opening, things uh, becoming a new rising in vibration and energy. I feel it, and I'm sure most of you feel it too, that there is a shift and that we are being called to rise up and be stronger than we have ever been before. If you feel that calling, walk it. Walk it straight and forward. But all in all, relationships, the activities that surround them, if something doesn't feel right, look at it. See what it really is about. See why it's not resonating with you. And it might not be that person. It might be you. You are the one who has shifted. You are the one who has become a different person. And now you have to seek a different path. Now with this law of attraction, you need to be positive and clear about what it is you want to attract. If you say things such as, oh, I always get the losers. I always get the people who take advantage of me. I always get the people who are abusive. Those are the people who are going to be drawn to you. You are calling them in. However, if you speak differently and say, I always get the people who are honest, loving, true, and kind. They are my tribe, and they are who makes me a better person. They are around me now, and they will be around me always. Your tribe will find you. They will seek you out energetically, and they will come to you. But you have to send out the, the cry. you got to send out the signal. Let them know where you are. So attract, my friends, attract beauty, attract love, attract kindness, attract truth. It's up to you. And on to the individual readings. Hello, Cancer. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we're here looking at the energy surrounding you for mid-June of 2017. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. Remember, watch your rising sign, your moon sign, your Venus, your Mars. If you're not sure what those are, I have provided a website that creates natal charts for free in the description box.
calling in the highest of light, calling in the highest of energy, calling in the divine. What messages do you have for my cancers? Cancers, mid-June 2017. Cancers. What are the messages for cancer? What energy, what guidance do you have for cancer? Cancer, cancer, cancer. What are the messages, what energies, guidance for cancer? June, mid-June, Right, and the energy that's coming in from the beginning of June into mid-June is the Three of Swords reversed. So this could be an, um, the refusal of the truth, that something is going on, a betrayal possibly, third-party interference, but you, and you know what, Cancer, I actually get this on a very spiritual level for you, that there's some interference coming in from some energy that you are getting, more so, uh, like really on the spiritual plane that somebody's that there's like this this blockage of you trying to get to um your goal trying to get to who you need to be uh but it it seems like almost it's like a spiritual warfare for for a lot of you um some of you it will definitely be uh manifested in the physical realm and you'll be able to see it feel it touch it and it it's most likely a person but for a lot of you it's going to be something that it's just like all these blocks keep coming up or have been coming up from the beginning of june trying to stop you um to move, stop you moving forward to your destiny. And then we have the lovers reversed. Okay, that makes sense here. Um, ten of discs reversed, illusion reversed, ace of discs reversed, and uh, five of cups upright. Okay, so here we are. Cancer. In the center, we have the lovers reversed. So this is a break of contract. And this makes complete sense with the three of swords happening. Like, you and not accepting the fact that somebody has done you wrong or is doing you wrong and it's hard to acknowledge that because you love them and you want to believe in the best however it's it's going to come to light you're going to see it mid-june mid-june is going to just like smack you in the face of something that is not working when it comes to a contract when it comes to a relationship in your life it is no longer serving your purpose it is not raising you to your higher good it is like an anchor and it's holding you back so it will come to the light and you will recognize, and, and especially because we have the Ten of um, Pentacles here, you will recognize that it's just not fulfilling, this relationship, somebody in your life. And for a lot of you, I mean, having the lovers and the Ten of Discs there, it has to do with family, it has to do with love. Uh, so, so it could be a partner that is... Uh, no longer in the right space for you to be with but i also feel like there's family members that you are um, just having to let go and say nope i cannot help you anymore i cannot be in the in the position of caretaker for you in a way like when i say caretaker i don't necessarily mean that you're taking care of them but um the nurturer that's what i'm looking for more of the nurturer that they are just sucking you dry. You are, it's just no longer, it's making you sick, cancer. It's making, it can make you actually physically ill, but definitely spiritually, emotionally, it's sucking you dry. And, and so you're gonna have to cut it. You're gonna cut it. When it comes to career, we have illusion reversed. So, um, you know, once again, the truth is coming out you know, you're breaking free of illusion of what you you wanted and um, what you needed. You know, I think there's been a conflict between the two of want and need. And now you're starting to see the truth of the situation when it comes to your work, where you need to go, what you need to do, and how you need to do it. 
so you're no longer living in this this kind of in a way a fantasy but in this obsession that you have um, of how a job should be what a job should look like how you should live you're breaking free of that and seeing the truth of 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 the work you need to do now and then we have the ace of discs in reverse and so these two I feel are really linked. It's like this breakage of um, the illusions that you've had, of the obsessions you've had, have been draining you, have really been draining you. And so now you have to turn it upside down and turn it to right. And upside down is turning it, <laughs> you know, turning your, um, your abundance upright. Okay? So there is a position that you... You need to really look at and see if it's good for you because I feel like you might be passing something up um, on the basis of oh that's not me that will never make me happy look at it give it you know give it a second glance and see if it is because that opportunity that you pass up could actually be very lucrative and the ace of discs also is kind of saying too that by breaking this illusion you're gonna have to kind of start over when it comes to your abundance um, cancer, for the Five of Cups, when it comes to um, your body-soul-spirit connection, it's don't focus on the negative, focus on the beauty, and be filled with gratitude for the letting go of these, of these things that are no longer working. Because by letting them go, you're allowing what really needs to come in to come in. And I know it's a hard and painful cut of the ties, but you have to do this in order to follow your path, your soul calling, and open up your heart space. So this is actually a huge blessing in disguise. All right, so let's call on the Noah Nafu deck for some added guidance. And these are the visionary cards. Cancer, what added guidance do we have for Cancer. Self-portrait. Holy moly, Leo got this too. So you might be linked with a Leo. End of May. I'm sorry, end of May. End of June. Let me read this to you. This painting symbolizes the mirror of the soul of consciousness and how we relate to that which surrounds us. It is about simultaneously looking within ourselves and taking in our externalities in order to achieve balance and oneness with the universe. Even though we exist in a material world, we are capable of reaching beyond and realizing our highest and most divine ideals, and in so doing, freely transitioning between physical, ethereal, and visionary realms. All right, so go in and out, Cancer. There's no greater sign than you who can go in and out, in and out of the different realms. You are the high priestess. You are the moon. You are Cancer. So go in and out of, of, of the different realms of your reality, of your consciousness, of your spirituality, to really gain knowledge of where you need to go and who you need to be. There is going to be a break of people. There's going to be a break of work. Things are shifting, and it needs to happen to raise you higher. These things are holding you back. Even though you may love them, enjoy them, and think they're wonderful, it's time to move on and break through that ceiling and rise. All right. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. Remember, listen to your heart, and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.